In this video, we're going to be opening up this sealed booster box case of Rise of the Floodborne. So we are, this is completely sealed. There's hopefully an enchanted in here. We never know. There's four booster boxes in here. Could be enchanted, could, you know, who knows, there could be not. But there could be some really amazing cards, some legendaries, some who knows what. But let's go ahead and get this video started by opening up this sealed case of booster boxes. But yeah, here we go. I am opening up the seal we've done this before it's not our first time doing this for uh well first time for doing this for rise of floodborne yes but not our first time for doing this in terms of the first set uh that we did right we, we've done two sealed cases sorry about that if that makes a weird sound we've done two sealed cases for the set one and one of the sealed cases had enchanted the other one did not have an enchanted so you know it doesn't guarantee you one but you have a decent chance i feel like i mean hopefully <laughs> we'll see if we can get one in this sealed case but yeah as you can see there are four uh booster boxes in there and i'm gonna open this one right over here for this video in hopes that we find enchanted or something all right so this was the chosen winner this booster box right over here there are three more in that that case that you saw but this is the one we're going to open in this video we'll open those three in future uh videos of course don't worry and hopefully maybe this is the one that we just selected right here has the enchanted or who knows there could still be the enchanted inside uh inside that box there but let's go ahead and see what amazing cards that we get out of this booster box today okay so the first pack it's gonna be the beast pack and from what i've been hearing is that the beast pack seems to be the most popular out of the three as um you know it's just not real like research but it's just what people are seeing based off of um you know uh, looking at the booster packs in the um, retail stores right uh, when you go to the retail stores it seems like most of the booster packs are gone uh in terms of the other or sorry in the beast design is the one that's gone while the other booster packs are the ones that seem to still be there but i don't know maybe it could be a less um creation of the beast one or it could be that people do take the the beast one quite a bit i don't know <laughs> you can let me know but maybe it is the most popular out of the three uh, out of these three like i feel like the first set was elsa maybe i don't know maybe mickey mouse were the uh favorites but uh who knows oh look at that beast selfless protector for the super rare now and nick wild Ooh, we'll take that for the foil as we get to the next pack queen of hearts but yeah i don't know i mean I, at least maybe it is the most popular <laughs> you can let me know in the comments down below what your favorite design is out of the three if i had to pick one uh i think raya definitely is my favorite one for this set raya is a very cool design i love the enchanted card that um that she has in this hopefully we can pull it one day maybe it's in this box here we don't know <laughs> baby -de -bobby -boo. and ooh, we'll take that tiana celebrating princess i love that card and fairy godmother here to help for the foil next pack here we go so far this is our second booster box that we opened on the on the channel um the other booster box was uh just a stray booster box right it wasn't like a sealed case or anything we just opened it uh and i think we got some i think we got four legendaries in that one Ooh, beautiful honey wizard but yeah i think we pulled four legendaries in that one and some cool uh foils here and there but not anything amazing oh no <laughs> i don't like this card i don't know about you guys that scares me yzma <laughs> oh my god okay but as i was saying yeah we didn't pull amazing so hopefully this booster box is better but you know we'll find out as we pull rabbit for the foil and i think that is our first time pulling uh rabbit so very cool take that i'll take that um but yeah the yzma card whenever we pull it up <laughs> oh man yeah i know maybe it's supposed to scare us but uh, the halloween's gone so <laughs> what's going on there right uh but here we go <laughs> we have the next pack rabbit i think we just pulled yep we just pulled the foil out of that one sneezy prince naveen pain caterpillar last stand mulan i really like that card the queen okay for the super rare and oh, oh, oh 
Scar, Vicious Cheater, Oil, Legendary. Oh, wow, look at that. That right there. That is nice. That is beautiful. Let me see if I can get the sleeve for it right over here as I'm knocking everything over. But yeah, wow. This. I haven't gotten a, a legendary foil in a, in a bit now, in a minute. So getting this is... I love it. I love it. This is a very nice pull. I think this is one of the best uh, legendaries in this set. So getting a foil out of it already, beautiful. Best pull we've had so far, I feel like, for Rise of Bloodborne. As we get to the next pack, wow. <laughs> Just need to catch my breath a little. Oh, this one's gonna be tough to open. I might have destroyed it. Oh, no, we got it. We saved it, don't worry. But yeah, <laughs> I need to catch my breath from that one. Wow, that was an amazing pull. I love it. Our best best card I feel like so far that we've gotten another honey wizard beautiful but yeah no it's a it's an amazing card uh legendary foil and scar vicious cheater is a very good card so getting that is very cool and I love getting this right here wreck it ralph pick a fight sheer Khan. Ooh, this one's cool it's a rare weight set and boom so not too bad there but now that we've opened a legendary foil, uh, does that decrease our the count of legendaries that we're gonna get in this entire box? And does this actually um, prevent us from getting a uh, an enchanted in this box? I don't know. I don't really know the rulings for that. And I, I mean, it all comes down to luck and chance of maybe getting like another legendary foil and a lot of legendaries in this. Um, etc but i don't know maybe there's a slight chance who knows gaston teeth and ambitions fairy godmother pure heart okay let's pull the next pack here yeah i don't know i mean i i think people i don't know if anyone's have, have um, pulled two enchanteds in like a box right i don't know if anyone's done that i don't know if um anyone's pulled two legendary foils in a booster box i, I you know I, you probably have a higher chance of doing that than getting two legendaries, but ooh, Rapunzel, Cinderella. This is a cool card there. Ballroom Sensation, rare. Ooh, Sisu. Okay, we'll take that legendary Divine Water Dragon. I love this card. We'll take that legendary. Hopefully, we can get the Enchanted someday. And we get Arthur for the foil. But yeah, so far so good. I, I don't know how many packs we've opened. Maybe about uh, seven or eight, maybe something around there. And uh, a legendary foil already and a legendary very nice legendaries too not just you know your average joe <laughs> it's a very good legendary so very happy about that uh cheshire cat blue fairy I'm not, i don't think i've seen this card before blue fairy snow white merlin shapeshifter okay grand pabby for the uh super rare and oh cinderella is the super rare foil so nice one right there as we get to the next pack and yeah i mean uh let me know if you guys have had any luck this time around with uh rise of the floodborne in terms of the retail stores because i feel like retail stores have uh they stepped it up with the lorcana cards this time so it seems like it's more readily available um compared to set one so hopefully you've been able to get some cards this time around Ooh, Cinderella Knight in Training Foil. But yeah, hopefully you've been able to get some cards this time around uh, compared to before. And, you know, whether it's starter decks, booster packs, I don't know, you name it. <laughs> uh, Troves, uh, the gift set, right? The, the, the D100 Collector's Edition. I hope you're able to get that because you need to have at least one of those. That's such an amazing collector set. We've opened it up on the channel recently. And I loved every second of it. Uh, but yeah, I, mean, I hope you guys have been able to get your stuff. Uh, Pete, bad guy. Great card. Cogsworth. And you can fly. Ooh, look. At this foil looks very, very nice. I really like that. This The coloring on this is beautiful. The foil is... I think the background is like Lorcana's background, I feel like. The coloring of that. Uh, if you know what I mean. Like, Lorcana is like 
logo type stuff that they have. They have a color scheme. I feel like that's their color scheme in the pack. So, very nice card there. Okay, next pack, next pack. Let's do this. Let's see what we can get. Uh, we've, I'm, I'm already happy with our pull so far. Uh, I don't know how much better it can get. Maybe pulling a couple more um, legendaries. Make it a little bit better. Um, two to three more legendaries I'll take. But let's see if we can get anything else in these packs. Namari. Ooh, Beast, Tragic Hero. Ooh, wow, Legendary. Uh, this is an amazing booster box, I would say. Very nice. I love this card, too. Beast, Tragic Hero. Not foil, but it's okay. It's Legendary. We already have a Legendary foil, so I don't know if we're getting more. But this is our third Legendary. And... Zero to Hero. I love this one too. Very nice pull there. Okay, next pack. Let's see. Let's see. I, like I said, I'm happy already with the, the pulls that we've gotten in this in this video in this uh, booster box already. I don't know what can make it even better. The only thing is maybe getting Enchanted or another Legendary Fire can make it better. But anything right now in terms of uh, getting these kind of cards, Cinderella, Super Rare, and Weight Set. It's really just icing on the cake, I feel like, so far. Next pack, here we go. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, what am I even hoping for at this point? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think maybe if we can get our foil honey wizard that I've been wanting so far. Um, that I've been wanting since the beginning. If we can get that, that will be even amazing. And that's doable, right? It's a common card. That's definitely doable. Let's see, Mrs. Judson, Perplexing Signpost, and Owl. Ooh, this one's pretty cool too. Next pack here. Uh, you know, I don't know what else we need to open <laughs> for Rise of the Flood War. We've, this is, you know, we've opened up the a Trove. We've opened up a, a D100 Collector's Edition. I love that one. And we have one more behind me there. <laughs> uh, we've opened up a sealed booster box case. We've opened up a sealed um starter deck case what else is there <laughs> let me know in the comments down below mini mouse super rare queen of hearts rare and piglet yeah i don't know what else can we actually open on um rise of the floodborne i think we've opened up everything right pretty much have uh we've opened up even individual starter decks and looked at each of the cards so we've just about done everything uh of course i you know if we're trying to get the master set collection for all the foils, we do have to do that. Um, and then also we have to get our first enchanted sometime, right? We and the Pooh having a think, a sorcerer spell book, and Daisy Duck. All right, here we go. I, th I think we're more than halfway done so far. I'm pretty sure we are. We're probably about, uh, I don't know, 16, 17 packs in already. But Merlin Squirrel, I love that. I love the Merlin cards that they added. They're They're amazing. All the different... Uh, types and the madam mims as well love that as well uh but oh okay the queen and it's the first rare slot and it's a super rare next card has to be the same or higher let's see one yzma <laughs> scary beyond all reasons super rare and merlin squirrel for the foil we'll take it okay so i don't know if we rate this opening so far out of 10 we're at like a seven or eight which is really good i'll take the seven or eight um any day because i feel like the first booster box that we opened on the channel for rise of floodborne was probably like a four or five but we're already at like a seven and seven or eight so this is very good and sheer con for this foil and i love this sheer con card so getting a foil of that amazing you know these are just little pieces taking us from like seven eight out of ten to like eight nine out of ten hopefully if we get i don't know how many uh, legendaries do we have three so far i wonder if we're gonna end up with maybe four legendaries i feel like that's kind of what's going on with rise of the bloodborne seems like it's about just that many i don't know but here we go here we go can we get one more legendary oh there it is fairy godmother legendary okay fourth legendary in this opening so beautiful is this our last legendary i don't know we'll see but next card lady tremaine so just as a quick counting and we do have six packs including this one 
So, I mean, there's still a decent chance that we can pull one more legendary, right? Get ourselves five legendaries for this opening. I don't know. There's a, there's a decent chance, I feel like. Just one legendary will take us to five. And I don't know. <laughs> we would do amazing in this booster box. Uh, Pinocchio, Grand Duke, and Hiram Flavor Sam. Okay, next pack. Five more to go. Five more to go. And just some amazing cards that we've been opening. Very happy. But can we take this to an eight or nine out of ten? As we pull hopefully one more legendary. Cheshire Cat. Tiana, I love this one with beignets. Okay, next pack. Come on. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, this is the funny start there. I'm stuck. <laughs> Go the distance. Rat again. Basil. Snow White. Donald Duck. Judy Hops. Card Soldiers. Lee Shang. Goofy Night for a Day. I wanted to point this out before when I pulled it, but I didn't get to. But look at this card. It's just crazy. Goofy Night for a Day. Uh, nine, but ten and ten. Uh, and then four. Like, wow. <laughs> This card is crazy. <laughs> Who made this card? Man, 10 and 10. I mean, like if you can get on the field to play, this Goofy's gonna blow through some cool stuff out there. But yeah, it's a really cool card, I thought, um, for gameplay wise. Basil for this one and Cogsworth. One thing I've been thinking about hopefully doing soon is uh, putting some gameplay of Lorcana on this channel soon and uh, release some videos on that if you guys are interested But uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in me playing some in like Pixelborn um, Or something to be able to just show you guys some gameplay what I love uh, the, You know the decks that I like playing um, How I play how I think or whatever strength the raging fire little John and sneezy for the foil But yeah, like yeah, you know, I enjoy playing the game as well. I'm not amazing right i'm not like a expert or like some strategist type person in this game so far maybe one day but um i i do enjoy playing the game as i feel like all of a lot of you as well like you know we were collectors but also uh, we also like playing this game too um and so i definitely would like to maybe we'll upload some of those videos and see how you guys like it or not raya ooh, okay Jafar, Merlin Rabbit, Rain. Ooh, our fifth legendary Snow White Well Wisher. And it is the second rare slot, so no more behind it unless it's a foil. But this is our fifth legendary. This is an amazing, amazing booster box. Uh, it's there. It's like 9 out of 10. The only thing I can make it a 10 out of 10 is uh, Enchanted at this point. But here we go. Pick a fight for the foil. So I'm happy to pull that fifth legendary. This is our last pack. Uh, like I said, the only thing that can make this even better is just pulling an enchanted. I don't expect to just because of the um, legendary foil that we got. But maybe there's an enchanted in that box. So, you know, in a future video, maybe, never know. But here we go. This is our last pack, last pack magic. I love Tiana's true princess card here. Merlin Goat, Doc, Arthur, King Louie, and Gaston for the foil. So... Not bad. I, I I mean, not bad. <laughs> Me, this poll, this opening was amazing. I loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well as much as I did. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. Helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and take care.